What's going on guys, it's Brent Zero to Three One, and I'm very excited because I have some very exciting news for y'all. For the first time ever in my channel's history, I'm going to be conducting a gear contest giveaway. Now I said contest, so you're going to have to submit entries, you're going to have to work for these prizes, alright? I'm just not going to give them away because they're too good, alright? I'm so excited about this that I actually reached out to some, some uh, good buddies of mine also on YouTube. I got John at UW Gear, also known as Alpha Charlie Concepts. I got Uniform Tango 74, comes out and shoots with me all the time here in North Texas. And then I got Bruce at uh, Camp Armament, who comes and films Camouflage Fitness with me all the time. Has been a very big contributing help to me in my channel. So all three of those guys are throwing in for this, this pot some really awesome um, t-shirts and gear and equipment and stuff for the, uh, the prizes in this contest. So before I get into the requirements of this contest and what you guys have to do to submit an entry, let's go ahead and take, the, uh, take a look at the prizes themselves so that you guys have a little bit of enticement to uh, stay around and find out what's going on with this contest. So Uniform Tango 74, I'm going to turn it over to you so you can go ahead and show, uh, show our fourth place prize winner. Okay, for the fourth place winner, fourth place winner will receive a free t-shirt from me, Uniform Tango 74, also known as Op4 Designs on Instagram. If you haven't started following us on Instagram, go ahead and do that. Op4, O-P-F-O-R Designs, okay? Once again, the fourth place winner will receive a free t-shirt from me. The uh, fourth place winner can pick what size shirt they want, okay? What color of t-shirt they want from our selection and what logo they want from our selection. And I'm going to go ahead and show you a few samples of what we have available. Not all of them, just a few, so you guys can uh, get an idea of uh, what, what's going to be available to you. We have a red t-shirt, and this one happens to be the Polytech Type 56 side-folding AK-47. And the Chinese characters say Type 56. Down below it has the factory stamp, the Triangle 66, okay? It's one logo available to the fourth place winner. We also have uh, the Club 762. This was my first design, AK-47 SBR. Black shirt, red logo. Stands out really well, okay? You can pick that if you want. You have a great t-shirt. This one happens to have the Ijmash AKS-74. And there you have, it says Club 545 for you guys who are fans of the 545 by 39 cartridge. And that's uh, in Cyrillic Club. And down below on the your left is the Ijmash factory stamp. Okay, we have that logo available. And of course, we have the AKS 74U logo available, Club 545, and uh, the Cyrillic there on the left, different font for the Cyrillic, and the Tula factory stamp, okay? And I know there's plenty of AR aficionados that follow Brent 03, uh, 0331, so tonight we got our first AR logo ready to go. And if the fourth place winner wants this, Logo on the shirt, we can go ahead and put this on here. That's the Colt Commando. And in the triangle, it says DGI, DGI, and we all know what DGI stands for, direct gas impingement. And this will be available for the fourth place winner to put on a shirt, okay? All the shipping details, contact information, go ahead, contact Brent with that, and he'll send it to me, and I'll contact you, and we'll figure out the details, okay, guys? So there you have it. That's the for, for the fourth place winner. Good luck with the contest, guys. Hey guys, really appreciate your interest in Brent's little gear competition. Wanted to show you a few things that I've got for you today. We're gonna to throw in as one of the prizes. I've got two P mags, 30 round. For those of you that are in the communist states fighting behind the lines, we'll make an adjustment on those for you if we need to to make sure we get you something of, of equal value. We've got a Eagle Industries brand new flat dark earth magazine pouch holds two 30 round mags so you'll have a place to put the two p mags that you're getting i've got this really cool um it's actually a pouch for an an optic mount but i was thinking that it would work great to use as a map case pouch holding your grease pencils your um protractors etc so i'm gonna set one up for me i've got an next one i'm gonna throw that in to the pile for you and lastly i've got a Blue Force Gear tourniquet now in flat dark earth. This is the same one that I just reviewed 
over on my channel, Bruce at Camp Armament. I know you guys are subscribed and we appreciate it. So uh, this is gonna be one of the prizes we're sending your way. Good luck on your competition. Put your best effort forward and uh, best of luck to you. Hey guys, John here with UW Gear. Really looking forward to seeing y'all's video submissions and your gear loadouts for the scenario that Brent's doing. As part of the giveaway that he's uh, got going on, I'm going to be tossing in one of my 4MAG AR bandoliers in multicam. This holds two AR mags in each of the pouches right there for a total of four. You've got two columns of molly down the side. You can put on a bleeder pouch, pistol mag pouches, whatever you want right there. Uh, makes for a really versatile, lightweight uh, piece of gear. So, that's going to go out to, uh, to a lucky winner. Good luck on that. Come check me out over on the UW Gear channel as well as my personal channel at Alpha Charlie Concepts. Take care, guys, and uh, again, good luck. All right, thanks, guys. So we just saw the fourth, third, and second place prize winners, and I just want to say I really appreciate those guys and those other channels for contributing to this. So the grand prize, the grand finale for this contest, the winner with the best entry is going to receive a primary arms 1-6 to six by 24 optic with an ACSS reticle or advanced combined sighting system. If you saw my review of the uh, primary arms 1 to 8 by 24 optic, it's essentially the same scope, except this one is a 1 to 6. All right? So these are phenomenal optics. And the ACSS reticle is first rate. So much so that in my primary go-to rifle, my Daniel Defense AR that I have, I have an ACOG with an ACSS reticle inside it. Because I believe the ACSS reticle, designed by Dimitri at primary arms, it's probably the most utilitarian war fighting reticle there is available out there on the market. And I firmly believe that needs to be in the it needs to be in the next generation Marine Corps war fighting optics. That's how much I love the ACSS reticle. And if you've seen any of my primary arms um, optics review videos that I've done, all of those optics have the ACSS reticle in them in one form or another, and they are all phenomenal. So primary arms, they got a good reputation. You can go all over the internet, all over YouTube, and see countless reviews of their optics. And for the most part, they are all first-rate, thumbs-up reviews. All right. So, like I said, new in the box, primary arms, 1 to 6 by 24 optic in wolf gray. That is the grand prize winner. This will be yours if you have the winning entry. All right. <clears throat> all right, guys. So what is the contest going to consist of? Well, here it is. All right. Here in a few minutes, I'm going to give you a scenario. In short, the scenario is going to be a three-day long combat patrol. What I want you guys to do is to lay out all the gear and everything, every little nook and knack and cranny from hygiene gear to freaking socks, what you would take on this patrol. All right? In addition to that, what uniform are you, what camouflage pattern are you utilizing on this patrol? It has to be a camouflage pattern that you have because you're going to put all this crap on at the end. All right? So don't tell me you want X pattern, and in reality, you only have Y pattern, all right? And that's what you wear for your PCC and PCI at the end. In any event, I want you to lay out on a poncho or tarp or whatever all the gear that you're going to take to this patrol, okay? And then you're going to go through and talk about each individual item and why you're taking it on that patrol. Good reference material for you would be the video that I filmed with Bruce um, of us getting ready to go up to One Shepherd. Uh, leadership institution to train with them. Okay, you can check that video out. In that video, we let out all our gear. All right, we go through, we talk about everything, and uh, that's exactly what we have in mind. That's exactly what we're looking for here. So you're gonna do that. That's the first part of this video. Right. Second part of this video, you're gonna pack it all up in your ruck or whatever you're taking to, to hump all this stuff to the fight. You're gonna be a rifleman in a infantry squad. All right. So there are squad gear and equipment that you were expected to carry. All right. So in your deuce gear, I want to see at minimum six magazines. All right, so show me a capability of holding at least six magazines for the fight. I also want to see areas to hold two M67 fragmentation grenades. All right, squad gear, pack up all your crap on camera into your ruck or whatever, and then I want to see where you're going to put this Claymore kit. All right, in addition to that Claymore kit, I want to see where you're going to put. 100 rounds of 762 by 51 millimeter linked ammunition and a bandolier in your kit. Um, and lastly, two green star clusters. I want to see where those are going in your kit as well. Right? So pack all your shit up on camera and then show me where you're going to hold all this squad level gear. Okay? All this squad gear that's going to help facilitate us ambushing the enemy, 
or help keeping our crew serve machine gun up in the in the fight. Okay, that's reality. This isn't, you know, you see all these videos all the time, like, oh, this is what I would carry and all this other crap. Remember, you're in a squad. You live, fight, and eat as, as a squad, right? You're in a team. You have to help distribute the weight by spread loading uh, essential gear to, for the fight amongst your squad, all right? So that's what I'm trying to facilitate here. You don't have to have this stuff in person. Just show me in your pack an area that you're going to carry this stuff that's big enough to help facilitate carrying this Claymore kit, the machine gun bandolier. Um, the green star clusters, you know, stuff like that, right? Um, so that's the first part of this contest. And then the second part of this, you're going to put all this stuff on, all right? Put all this stuff on, and I want somebody to go around you 360 degrees with all your gear head to toe how you would be before you step off for this mission, all right? So does your face need to be painted? I think it should, all right? Do you have to? No. But I think you should. If you're stepping off on a squad patrol with me, your face should be painted. So am I going to disqualify you because your face ain't painted? No, but I am going to give you a, a nit because if you're in my squad, you sure as hell ain't stepping off of me without an uh, uncamouflaged face. So keep that in mind. Uh, 360 degrees, I want to see all the gear on you. Make sure everything's all situated and everything else. Make sure you go through, you talk about all your gear and all that stuff, your, you know, how your gear situated, why you're carrying it, and everything, okay? Um, Let's see, I talked about the gear display, 360 degrees, how you're packing it. Oh, grand prize winner. So I already said grand prize winner is going to get the primary arms 1 to 6 by 24 optic. Um, in order to be eligible to win the grand prize, you need to have a weapon capable of holding this particular optic. So this optic is chambered, or excuse me, not chambered, but set for either 556, 545, or uh, 308. All right, so you need to have a weapon, a real weapon, in those particular calibers in order to be eligible for the grand prize. Now, if you do not have a weapon in those three calibers, that's fine. You can still win a freaking awesome UW Gear chest rig. You can still win the, uh, the gear that Bruce has or the T-shirt that uh, UT's putting out. That's fine. You're just not going to be eligible for the grand prize, all right? And I want to see that you have a real weapon. So when you're going through your static display, go ahead and lift up your weapon. Pull the bolt to rear. Let me see uh, clearing at the chamber, and then close the bolt so I know that you have a, a real functioning weapon. Okay, so that is the only requirement I have as far as being able to um, win the grand prize there. Um, and then also, unfortunately, this is only for people in the continental United States. If you're from Europe, I apologize. Um, this particular contest, though, we're just keeping it within the U.S. Um, definitely never going to send any type of optic overseas but <laughs> um, and I know I got a lot of European subscribers I hate to say this um, but we, we can't offer you guys any of the prizes at this time but I'm going to tell you this though if you guys participate in this um, contest absolutely if you were one of the better ones all right I will put you at the top and what I plan on doing is the the winners of this contest I'm gonna highlight their videos and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna show, I'm gonna ding them on stuff that they, they I thought they missed or whatever, all right? There's stuff I thought was great and stuff I thought that they missed or whatever. I'm gonna highlight their videos, all of them on my channel. So if you wanna participate in this and you live off out of the continental United States, you live off in Europe or you know, the Philippines or wherever, all right, South America, and you wanna participate in this, by all means, you can absolutely participate in this contest. And if you are one of the better ones, I will hi highlight your gear setup and give you my personal critique um, if you are in that top tier of uh, contestants, okay? So that is my guarantee to you on that. Um, I think I highlighted everything, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, kick off the scenario. This is the only guidance I'm giving on this, all right? So don't ask any more, um, you know, little mi mystical questions. You're going to have to leave it up to your own interpretation. Um, so here, without further ado, is the scenario. Orientation. We're currently located at Fob Devil Dog, which is located in the Alpha sector of northern Turkestan, approximately 55 miles southwest of the Turkestan and Sherpastan border. Our AO consists of temperate forest with hilly and rocky terrain. It is currently in the early fall season, so the leaves are just starting to change colors. The overwhelming majority of the environment, though, is still heavily vegetated and consists predominantly of greens and browns. Current weather forecast over the next few days is predicted to have highs in the 60s during the day with the lows in the 40s at night. There will be an 80% chance of rain on day two of the op. 
Situation. Over the last 48 hours, squad to platoon minus size elements of insurgents from the Durkistani Liberation Front, aka the DLF, who are believed to be led by their regional commander, Comrade Commissar Brzezinski, have been observed by reconnaissance teams to be increasing their presence in the northeastern edge of our unit's battle space. The DLF are believed to be attempting to open up a supply channels from their remote training camps in Sherpistan through the heavily wooded areas of this region in an effort to move small arms and equipment to their isolated insurgent cells in the southern part of the country. DLF fighters have been observed to be primarily armed with Soviet bloc small arms and equipment, such as AKs, RPDs, RPGs, and 82mm mortar systems. Additionally, they have been known to utilize technicals with either Dishkas or PK medium machine guns mounted on them. The DLF typically operate in squad size elements, but it is not uncommon for them to move in platoon size elements when they are planning large scale offensive operations. Mission On order, Alpha Company, 1st Platoon, 1st Squad, will conduct a three day combat patrol in the vicinity of grid 619 318 in order to deny the enemy freedom of movement through the AO. Additionally, your squad will conduct harassing engagements such as ambushes and raids on enemy movements in order to weaken and delay enemy resupply operations. Well, that's it, guys. The contest begins today, November 10th, which is the Marine Corps birthday. The contest will close on November 30th at 2359 hours. Once your video is ready, post the link in the comment section with the words, ready for inspection. Myself and the other judges will reply with inspected once we have watched your video. I want to wish you guys the best of luck with this, and I hope we get some good participation. I know I speak for all of us when I say we are really looking forward to reviewing your guys' entries. I want to send out a special thanks to Dimitri at Primary Arms and my buddies John, Bruce, and UT for making this all possible. Lastly, I want to close by saying that if you guys are interested in any of the stuff that we're giving away as prizes, you can always just go to the visit the websites, and I'll have those links below so that you guys can go there and place orders from these guys. For all the primary arms optics that I've reviewed with videos in the past, to include this one I'm giving away as a grand prize, I'll have special links below that you guys can click on. That primary arms will give you free shipping, or they'll also give you a free gift, uh, which could be a scope mount or a kill flash, depending on which optic you order. But you have to go through those optic links that are provided below in order to get that special deal. Because if you just go to the website, you're not going to get the free shipping, you're not going to get the, uh, the special gift associated with that. So that's it, guys. Good luck. Thanks again, and uh, good luck with the contest.